In case you missed our last few videos, we just spent a few days exploring Varanasi, which turned out to be one of the most fascinating places we have ever visited. Today, we are taking a night train from here back to Delhi in a third class carriage. Good evening and welcome back to Varanasi. Today we are taking the train again, leaving this beautiful, super mystical, interesting place. I really like that we spent two full days here and we just had a really great time. Today we're going back towards Delhi, tomorrow we're going to Jaipur to start our journey in Wajastam. The only places left on the train was a 3 AC class, which is basically third sleeper class. Three layers of bed on top of each other, so it will, can be quite cramped. And, uh, yeah, it we'll should be interesting. It should be interesting. If you have seen our last train video, our first uh, train experience in India, you will know that that hadn't really gotten us off to the best start. But we love trains and we're gonna give train travel another go here today. It seems like we are, uh, we'll be on track number nine. Track for number nine and three quarters. Oh good god. Last time we were boarding the train, it got, and it, it just became absolute mayhem. Yeah. What in the world? So really curious to see what today is going to be like. Yep. A train just arrived, just uh, stopped 10 seconds ago. The train's not nearly, nearly as crowded or as full as the last one, so maybe we just uh, ran into a very busy one last time. Oh wait, let's just quickly get some cookies. Looks like they have some uh, dal curries where you can add some hot water. I mean, we haven't had food yet, so we need something to fill our stomach tonight. I want... The one with the peas, added vegetables. Okay, we have uh, one uh, dal tijdi and one dal chawa. Chocolate filled cookies, these look really good. Apparently they're preparing it for us right here so that we can take it onto the train. Pretty nice. Good service. Yeah, you will be the cookie bearer. Be careful with the cookies. You will be the hot water bearer. I will be the hot stuff. <laughs> Hot stuff coming through! Thank you! Why is it moving? Four and five or five and six. Yes, okay, thank you. How can this be three birds? I don't see it. I don't know. Ah, yeah, that one, okay. Yeah. Okay, one lower and then one here. Yeah. Okay, thank you so much, thank you. Uh, will be interesting. I have to get under the berth because I don't want to block the hallway. There are plenty of people still getting onto the train. I don't, I don't get why it started moving. It has stopped in the meantime, but I was like, oh no, you have to climb on right away. Otherwise, it's gonna go like full speed. Nothing it would probably here. be the first Indian train in the history of the world to leave one hour early. He just told you there should be three berths here, like three layers of people, people stacked on top of each other. The middle row is this, and that somehow latches onto here when the train is riding and people have to sleep. Oh, people have to sleep, the level comes here somewhere, so... It looks like it's very, very watery. Yeah, it does. It was actually pretty good, but you feel like yeah, you really taste is like a bit too watered down. So not a huge fan, but it's it, good. It beats getting hungry. So and we sell some cookies. I mean, just to wash down the taste afterwards. We are in the middle and upper berths. So if someone is on the lower one. If there's another person that actually booked these seats, we won't get to sit here anymore. Uh, sorry. One can sit here and one can sit over there. Thank you so much. Not an issue. <laughs> People keep interrupting my official food review. Look at that. It's like Nutella. It's very similar to Nutella, yeah, actually. Yeah, it's really good. Really, really, really good. If you, uh, if you come to India, yeah, these babies good. are your friend. Yeah. Huh? All right, so apparently, it's a self-surface blanket. Uh, you can get your blanket at the end of the carriage normally. Number five and six. One blanket delivery service coming right up for you, Miss Kim. Thank you very much. This one. 
Yeah. Okay. Oh, that was easy. That was easy, yeah. Even fit. <laughs> or laugh too. <laughs> Your tour to India for how many days? Uh, we'll say uh, five weeks probably. Five weeks. Yeah. Not nice. not really sure because we have not booked our flight yet, but we'll say five weeks, yeah. So this is the top one, this will be mine. Nice pass. And that will be uh, kind stranger who we just met. Alright. Well done. <laughs> Don't hurt yourself. How is it? Is it comfortable? So much room. It is bigger than I thought actually. I thought this would be lower, like this top bit, no? I could use like 10 centimeters extra in my bed. I think it's about time for everyone to go to sleep. It's about uh, 10 o'clock now, 10 p.m. You can tell people are starting to like get into their beds and make their bed and everything is starting to quiet down a little bit. So it's funny how the view is completely different from up here. So I have to squeeze myself and all of this stuff in the bed here. I can't really sit upright, so I'm not sure yet how I'm going to do that. Uh, gonna cost me a lot of space but I don't want to leave the camera bag and the laptops on the floor somewhere there are a lot of stops as well during the night so just in case see you in the morning good morning it's currently eight o'clock late 30 ish it's about one hour until we get to Delhi had a fairly good night's nice rest took me a while to fall asleep but once I was asleep it was all right couldn't stretch my legs but I mean could live with that uh, only disadvantage that's pretty loud in the train not because of the people just really nice people were fairly quiet a lot more quiet than China yes China but um, yeah we are at the edge of the of the wagon and it's where like the two wagons are connected which makes sometimes a lot of noise because the tracks are not always that even now it's fairly quiet at some no point way, in time. Oh, try. Uh, two try, please. Uh -huh. Try, go be, try. Try, go be, try. I slept pretty well, actually, once I fell asleep. Um, took me a good hour, hour and a half of trying to get to sleep, but I think I slept a good six, maybe six and a half hours. Naik has managed to kick over his cup of tea, so he's now drinking mine. You are up. How brave of you. Yeah, I mean, my bed was full of these. <laughs> I had to use my, I had to use my sheet to mop it up. Sorry, train guy, if you're watching this. How's my tea? Kim tea tastes even better. We are now entering the city of Delhi again. Really, really nice. Hang out out of the train because. Really, the train doors open when we're riding. I think they closed them tonight, but now they open them up again. Oh, makes it very interesting. Had to uh, dodge the pole there. We made it into Delhi. We are somewhere on the eastern side of Delhi, not really in the center like we previously were. Just waiting for Kim to get off the train now, and we're heading to Paharanj. And then tomorrow we're heading to Jaipur, heading into Rajasthan. Really excited about that as well. So. I couldn't get out. <laughs> there were so many people standing in the aisle that are blocking the way. I couldn't get out of uh, out of our spot, but we made it. After one hour in the auto rickshaw, we made it to our room. It was we more than our, one hour actually. We tipped our driver a little bit extra because we felt bad for him. Yeah, that's what's quite right. So much traffic. Now it's uh, time to get to work. I need to get some uh, electronics fixed because our charger for our stabilizer stopped working. Charger for my laptop is not working properly anymore. We still have some other problems with electronics. I mean, I have to get across Delhi to uh, the electronics. Heaven, Valhalla. Heaven, Valhalla of Delhi to get there. So. Anyway, we hope you enjoyed this third class train ride 
it was quite an experience and uh, I must say it was, it was pretty, pretty enjoyable. Good, pretty enjoyable. Next video, you will see us in Jaipur. We are going to Rajasthan. Jaipur is the pink city. I'm looking forward to exploring a lot of stuff. A little, a lot of stuff to do there. Yep. Um, so you'll see you in the next one. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a big thumbs up. And if you want to follow the rest of our travels, make sure to hit the subscribe button. We'll see you tomorrow.